Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing great. In today's lesson, we will be talking about how to express or emote in English. यानी अगर आपकी कोई फीलिंग या इमोशंस हो तो आप वो इंग्लिश में कैसे बता सकते हो सो ऑब्वियसली इन दिस वीडियो आई कैन नॉट कवर एवरी थिंग बट आई बी कवरिंग फाइव फीलिंग्स और इमोशंस एंड आई होप यू गाइज नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इमोशंस एंड फीलिंग्स फीलिंग्स आर स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड दिस समथिंग दैट दे आर दे आर फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो लाइक से फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ यू हेट सम वन और इफ यू लव सम वन और इफ यू आर पैशनेट अबाउट समथिंग दैट इज योर फीलिंग वाई बिकॉज इट इज मोर स्ट्रॉगर देन योर इमोशन एंड इट इज नॉट फॉर अ शॉर्टर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम योर एज इमोशन कुड बी यू माइट बी फीलिंग सैड नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ समथिंग बट ऑन एंड होल ऑन एंड होल इफ यू विल सी यू आर फीलिंग गुड बट अभी यू माइट बी फीलिंग सैड right so let's take a look at the five different feelings or emotions that you can express in english the first one is happy happy so you can say happy or you can say glad or you can say pleased or you can say delighted i'm happy to hear or i'm delighted or i'm very pleased or I'm glad that you came. Second feeling or emotion that you can express in English is sad. If you're feeling sad, that means you're feeling low, you're feeling, you know, blue, you're feeling down, you're feeling upset, or you're feeling depressed. I'm sad because this happened. I'm feeling sad about this. I'm upset. or i'm feeling blue i'm feeling little low i'm feeling down so these are the words that represent your mood when you're not in a very um, happy mood when you're not excited or when you're maybe feeling little low or bad about something so that was your feeling or expression number 2 that you can use third is angry when you are angry you can say you were upset i'm very upset you did that so upset can be used when you are sad and it can be used when you are angry completely depends on the way you say it right so if you are angry you can say i'm angry i'm upset or i am mad i'm pissed off i'm disappointed so these are the uh, words you can use when you have to express your feeling or emotion of being in a state of uh, you know when you are angry about something or even angry on something the fourth one is when you are when you are scared you know i'm scared that i might lose my job if i do this or i'm terrified that something wrong might happen so you know when you're a little frightened about something so you can say i'm scared or i'm terrified and the last one is surprised i'm surprised i'm amazed i am shocked in a positive manner that's why we are taking it in positive sense otherwise even if you're angry you can say you know i'm shocked to know that you know you have done this so you can use it there also but otherwise if you're talking about i'm surprised i'm positively surprised i'm positively shocked and you can say i'm amazed you know i'm amazed that you have done this i was not expecting it or probably i wasn't expecting it to be at this level so that's what that's how you can use these words well these are only five words i know there lot to express but at least now we know how to emote or express these five emotions you'll be you'll be seeing these sentences now and probably you'll learn more So yeah, let's look at these sentences. I am happy to see you. I am glad to help. She will be delighted to see you. Expressions when you want to show that you are happy, not for sad. It is a very sad movie. He was upset by what you said. I was feeling blue after she told me about her accident. I hope she does get angry after what you did. Ria is upset about something. She drives me mad. I was scared of heights. He was terrified when he saw this movie. That means he was scared when he saw this movie. They were surprised when my result came. Happily surprised, obviously. I was in the state of shock when I saw her at the wedding. So happy learning, guys! I hope these expressions, wherein you have to emote whether you are happy or you are sad or you are angry or you are scared or you are surprised. I hope now you know the vocabulary and now it will be easy for you